it's me, Pam Benny, and we're going to move on with our file folder folio for part three. And this was the front. This opens up. This is what we have so far. So we're going to, I don't think we did this little, um, <clears throat> pamphlet or little booklet here so we had just put in that packet so I just got some thicker cardstock and then just add various papers how many do I have one two three four I have about seven you could do seven eight however you like that will fit into your pocket that you made so I have this, I'll ink around it, it's a thicker, and I think mine is about, probably about nine and a half, whatever will fit in your pocket comfortably that you like. I have this really pretty, I must have bought this, look at that, uh, inked lace paper, snowflakes because this is a winter kind of Christmas journal, kind of a torn dyed paper. Oh, this is a really pretty book page and a, um, with the snow falling. Doesn't that look peaceful? And a little poem and then my green. I think this is my green dyed or I, I don't, I can't remember. Some I've bought, some I dyed. And then this family saying grace, Norman Rockwell, isn't that cute? And then we have that page, that little girl reading a book. And then a little snowflake. So that's the booklet I'm going to put in. So you make your booklet to fit your pocket. I'm going to sew down it and be right back. Okay, I sewed down the middle. So we have our beautiful little booklet. Already, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> we have a great day, and hope you're enjoying these. This tutorial. <clears throat> if so, let me know so I will do more. Otherwise, I'll just continue. <clears throat> excuse me, doing other things. But if I know there's an interest, then I will continue doing tutorials. All right, here we go. Right there, and of course, we'll do more embellishing later this is just the um <clears throat> beginning okay for here what i'm going to do i'm going to do a pocket here i just have some cut off and uh, we'll figure that in a minute on this side and then here what i had was a a booklet that fit into this pocket here and I thought I had more paper bags but this is what I have so I'm going to try and cut it down because it's quite large and here's the papers that I chose for it so what I'm gonna do let's cut it down Let's see, maybe, let's go for six. Let's try six. Six across. And then, let's go, what am I going to do? I'm going to, I'm just going to cut it, but maybe I could just fold it up, I'm thinking. And then maybe we'd have inside pockets. So you're going to have two openings on both sides now. I think I'm going to fold it up to, let's see, there's my booklet. 
we'll fold it up maybe about here. Yeah, that'll give me room for that. Let's do it this way. So we'll have little pockets in the inside. And now we can sew in our uh, papers we've chosen, and these will be pockets, so we can just glue. Here and here. And we'll do all our embellishing later. So that goes like that. And this will be kept open like so. Okay, so then this will be going into this pocket here. Here's the booklet that I'm going to sew in. The papers I've chosen is the Night Before Christmas book. I have a little doily, green doily. I have coffee dyed paper, December from an Ideals magazine, coffee dyed, just a little note pad, and then dyed green. And this is fun. It has um, a shape from a shape book, She's making cookies, Christmas carol, poem, a little light blue grid paper so that's the middle and then on the other side I have this little turkey turkey guy too maybe that would be fun to add to the middle so some roasting instructions for turkey then we have the shaped book. I like to add interesting pages. Christmas morning poem. Dyed. That's the other side of that note. Food for thought. Coffee dyed. The poem from the ideals. Skaters. Coffee dyed. Um, paper doily. And that night before Christmas. Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night. Okay, that's what we have, and we're going to sew it in the middle. So I'm going to sew that next one in, and uh, then we'll finish this off. All right, we have this sewn in, and then we'll have our pockets here. And pocket here. Let's just do a really quick recap. Okay, pocket, and the pocket. Okay, and how I put this in was I glued paper here and on the other side side to give it strength and then you in something to pull out of the pocket so I'm going to line this up 
and I'm gonna glue top of it. I've just done this once, so I'm trying to think how I did it. Okay. I'm gonna line this up here. I'm afraid. And then I think I sewed across at the top here, or you could glue it. Maybe I'll just glue it. So I'm going to go like that. Glue it a little bit here. And then I'm going to glue it let's see how did I do that okay here's the other one like this and then I had a pad of paper here but this would pull it open and then you go like that now I didn't put that on the other side but that's fine I just want this to slide into the pocket and have this. So now I just need to, I think I can just glue this part down. And then let's just try it. So I glued that here. And I can add paper here. And then let's see if this is going to work. So when you put it into the pocket, and I probably will sew across that. When you put it in the pocket, you're gonna go like that. But I want this to be farther down. I wanted that to be farther down, but If it's not, it's just going to stick out more, which is fine. And I'll just cut this off a little more here. Let's cut that. I want to stick out, but not like that much, probably. Maybe. Try that. Maybe, let's see what we got here. Maybe one and a half inches sticking out and I can round the corners. And then I'll put paper there and we will put our booklet in there. Well, actually, okay, so if you don't have this out, but I like that out, so. You just do it however you want. I think I like it this way, but we'll see. Yeah, I kind of like that, like that. 
and then you have that at the top and we can do more with that so we have that I'll probably around the corners and then I was thinking of adding this beautiful vintage um, card here that I just recently got because it's glued here and you can open it up and you have all of this to write on once you open it up so let's glue that to the back such a pretty card I love these vintage reading cards okay pretty okay then that will open up and you could write all there then you have that <clears throat> little booklet too Okay, let's go over here and I had this cut off and then I had this from a uh, uh, Norman Rockwell book and I thought the Santa was cute so let's cut them up and I think I'm gonna put them on that paper there Then, once it's all uh, put together, it's fun to decorate. I don't know if you want to see that part, but we'll see. Huh? Okay, so we have this here. Thinking about a pocket that's about. I think I'm going to leave a little edge here, maybe. And I'll do a large pocket to well, we want to make sure our spine is not in the way. I'm thinking that far so it doesn't catch in the spine. And we have this left over. So now no, I'll ink it and ink around here and then we're going to have a pocket here. So I'll ink that and glue it down and be right back. Okay, I did round the corner here. I did ink around and there is our cute Santa. Look, he's so tired but the little elves are helping him to paint. Santa is worn out. I have this Christmas card that's pretty. And I don't know if I'm going to just cut off and just have this or have both. We'll just see how, if it gets too bulked up. And then I have this vintage party peppermint pie and brandy Alexander pie. Mmm. Nut pie shell. I love pie. Okay, so we have that. And we have this. And it's so the next thing I was thinking here. We have this pamphlet in here, and the I have this Christmas card. I'm thinking about cutting it out and adding it. I use your Christmas cards, you can recycle your Christmas cards. I'm going to How much I want of it. I think. I think. Hmm. I'm not sure. But let's cut around it. Let's 
see what we think. And just don't know if I want this on the bottom here or not. Let's just see what we have. I like that. That's fun. So this would get glued here like that. And then you're going to have a tuck here too. So we just want to glue uh, where from this side over about because we only want it to go on this band here. So you might want to Take out your booklet and then here I think that might be good. And you could put a little paper or something here while it's gluing so that it doesn't get, you know, past this band. I might come back and ink around that. So now you have another fun tuck. And then that can still go in here. But you have a little um, tree there. Now let me see what else we can do next if we have time for something else. Okay, I've decided that what we're going to do, we're going to sew in our journal next. And this is the one that I had in this journal. And you can just add whatever pages you want. I think I have folded 21 pages. Vintage lead, ledger... Uh, National Geographic, a fun book page, um, children's, encyclopedia, plant page, sewing page, sound X page, lined, uh, like a fall sweater knitting, garden, ledger, music, and in the middle, this woodland. And then I, that's where I have these wood beads. So that is your choice. And you will just sew it. Find your center. Poke your holes. Make your center like you would any other three-hole pamphlet stitch. And then you're just going to and I had tied this. You're just going to, and you can add this later, the uh, yarn. And you'll sew that right into your spine, like you would any other journal. Like so. But ours, we did, we are gonna, we saved a piece of paper and we can cover our stitching. So that's kind of fun. All right, so I'm going to pick out my pages, and then I'm going to sew it into the binding like you would any other book there. And I'm going to get my 21 pages, and once I get that all settled, I'll show them to you sewn in. Okay, I have picked out my pages. They're about, I don't know, 20, 21. Um, and I just started out with a... 12 by 12 that I scored at 4 inches. So I scored it here. And that's going to be what I'm going to sew in to the spine. 
I have a children's book page. And of course you want it to fit within this. Um, I have lined. I have some fun Christmas music. Green dyed, a vintage sweater. Um, and then it has these. Remember these? I think my mom used to make these and you had little pins and sequins. My mom would always make Christmas things like that or little felt people. And then she had a display case, you know, with her little things like that, especially at Christmas, all decorated with lights. And my best friend, neighbors, uh, Nancy and her sister, Amy, they could look out their bedroom window into our window and, you know, look at the fun things that my mom put in there that was crafted. So that was fun. Here is some, um, looks like a vintage line paper. Here's a different shape type book. Make it interesting. Christmas poem, a little berry computer book. A computer page with the berries. Children's Night Before Christmas book. Here's a vintage magazine. I think it's the 70s, 1970. And it has these pine cone things you could make and coffee dyed paper an ideals page a christmas walk all is calm a book page children's book page christmas story all is bright with an angel we have this green dyed paper and this is a vintage computer type paper and it had somebody's score and I'm going to keep that because I like that Josh and Mandy um, a knitting type stitch book I like the colors and there's a white sweater here's a another children's book page Joseph and Mary here is a lined paper vintage music sheet a little town of Bethlehem and then here I have, um, I just have one of these note cards. I really like these vintage ones. And um, so that will go, be sewn in the middle like that. So I'm going to take this and sew it into my spine. Okay, I... Uh, Sew this in, and I'll probably put this card here, just so that, I mean, glue that, and I'm just going to glue those three sides so that this will also be a tuck right here. So I'll be doing that, and then, yeah, we have a fun little journal with lots of pages in here, like that. Cute, cute. So now we have this sewn in and I can just ink here and then we will be gluing this paper piece that we had cut earlier and then we can just cover up our stitching like so.